Hey everyone, Bobby here from BipperMedia.com and today I'm going to show you how to embed a Facebook post into a WordPress blog post. Just last week, Facebook announced improvements to their embedded post feature and you can read more about this on their developer's blog. But today I'm going to show you how to actually make that happen. So here is my personal Facebook profile. Here is our blog at BipperMedia.com and this is the blog post I'm going to use for this tutorial. So let's get started. So over here on my Facebook profile I'm going to find a particular post that has some interaction on it such as this one, our time at the beach, and you can see we've got some likes and comments happening here and I'm going to use this so that I can show you what that looks like once you embed it into your WordPress post. So the first thing you'll do up here in the upper right hand corner of every WordPress I'm sorry, of every Facebook post, you have this drop down menu icon. You will just click that and you will see embed post option down at the bottom. But before I click that, let me show you a post I shared on Facebook from Instagram. And this is an image we took at a, at a Braves game and I shared it from Instagram onto Facebook. But you'll notice if I click this drop down menu, I do not have the embed post option. So. I believe that any posts that are shared from a third party app like Instagram to your Facebook profile, you are not going to see the embed post option. So any post that you share directly on Facebook or from your Facebook mobile app, you will have this option to embed the post. So again, here in the upper right hand corner, click the drop down icon and click embed post and the second screen opens up. Uh, I guess the default width is 466 pixels and we'll just leave that as it is but when we get over to WordPress I'm gonna change that and I'll explain that more when we get to that portion so um, for right now we're gonna come over here to the WordPress post and I'm just gonna go ahead and click edit post and a lot of times when um, you open up a to, to edit or when you go to edit a WordPress post sometimes your option is set to visual but you're going to need to change that to the text mode right here because it is embed code that we're bringing over from Facebook and we need the text option open so that we can actually embed the code into our post so coming over here and all you need to do is click once in this window and it highlights all the code for you. I'm on a Mac so I'm going to hit Command C. If you're on a Windows PC you can hit Control C. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to embed this down at the bottom of my post. So first thing I'm going to do I want to create a little bit of space between the bottom of my post and the Facebook embed element. So I'm going to put a little and NBSP colon and that just creates an additional space um, in between the bottom of my post and the top of the Facebook embed element and then again I'm gonna put a little bit of space beneath my Facebook embed and the related post section that I have on all of my posts so that'll make more sense when we look at it but back to the width remember when we the default was set to 466 what I'm going to do here in the data width element of the code, I'm actually going to change this to 100%. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want this code to be responsive on a mobile device. And I believe that setting the width to 100% means that the width of the element is going to change um, depending on the width of a screen, including on mobile devices. So again, it's right here in data width and just change that element to 100%. All right, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and update this post. And now I'm gonna go and view the post and let's see what we get. And again, I posted it at the bottom of my WordPress post, so I'm gonna scroll down. And here is my Facebook embedded post right here. Now, one reason I am not a huge fan of the Facebook embed post option is because you'll notice if I try to comment or if a visitor tries to comment, you'll notice when I clicked on it, I was taken off of my site and I was taken back to Facebook. 
And the same thing if I try to look at any of the comments, I leave my site and I'm taken directly back to Facebook. So I'm not a huge fan of this feature. Uh, what would make it a lot better is if people could comment and interact and it actually um, share or um, or promote the actual URL of this blog post and hopefully bring bring traffic back to my site but um, as it is now if I try to comment or interact you can see I'm going to leave my my blog and I'm coming right back to Facebook so um, but anyway that is how you would embed a Facebook post onto your WordPress blog post.